round three of the DTM, and this time it's Brands Hatch. British motorsports tradition in the county of Kent, the next showdown will be in the UK. Audi knows it has to deliver, it has to score its first win in England. Memories of 2011 should help there. The first DTM poll for Mike Rockenfeller, a triple win and top of the podium for Eduardo Mortara. A bit of nostalgia at this point should be just a thing to inspire the Ingolstadt carmaker. I drove one of my toughest ever races there, 98 laps with Paul Di Resta in P2, and I finally won the race with a lead of just 0.2 tenth of a second. That's a special memory and of course I'm glad to be going back to England. Mercedes Benz is coming to Brands Hatch in the very best of shape. The racing performance has been very impressive so far and for Gary Paffett a motorsports classic on his home turf is a very pleasant prospect. It's been a really good start to the year. I, I feel really comfortable with the car and uh, going to my home race. I'm really looking forward to uh, trying to give the fans something to cheer, up, cheer about and, and you know, hopefully trying to add my third podium of the season. The fans in the UK are also looking forward to Formula One driver Jensen Button. Together with Paffett, he'll be scaring everyone on the Indy circuit in the racing taxi. The DTM visit. For a lot of the drivers, it is a home game, in fact. My sister will come and I'll see my uh, my new niece for the first time because my sister had a baby three weeks ago. So I get to meet some new family and uh, yeah, it's a race in England, but you must remember I'm Scottish. For newcomer BMW, the race in Brands Hatch is only a home game for Andy Prio. The test of strength continues and the Munich company wants to prove in the UK that the victory in the lawsuits was no accident. We always race with touring cars there, I won races there. Long. Uh, hopefully the weather will help us and we're gonna, we're gonna be there again. The weather. Typically English mostly with an above average chance of rain. On the shortest circuit of the year is the qualifying that is most decisive of all. 22 cars and just 1.93 kilometers. That can get pretty crowded. The new DTM era and its first overseas visit to Brands Hatch, very much in the tradition of British motorsports.